Pulse motor build off 2014. Okay, here's a little update. Try to make it quick. Uh, I took a shitty pull coil as my generator coil and put it. This is a eight magnets, eight magnets, uh, north south alternating. In Neos, Neodymiums. Uh, I don't know their Tesla count or their N, their N number, but uh, this is the trigger coil slave or not trigger coil, it's the trigger coil, you know, kind of Bedini style, by filer, twist, uh, with a twist, with a twist, by filer with a twist. And then, um, right now I have this bridge rectifier so I can run it this low off the, off the, um, gener generator coil, I can rectify the negative and sh onto the shared negative and it can allow me to turn my transistor as low as I, as low as I can without it, you know, with enough force that the uh, magnetic fields don't stop it from turning. And with enough electromotive force for it to go on its own, I guess I should say. And let's see what else. I, I, a lot of cleanup to do on it, but it's not even close to being done. Six days left, so I'm getting a little nervous, but should be all right. There's the uh, gravy, the gravy mixer, the gravy boat. <laughs> That'll be interesting. And this is the the uh, one wire that leads to nowhere. It leads to somewhere, but it, that will come into play later. And there's a this is a secondary. I'm gonna. I won't get too into detail with the circuit. Just talking about I, it'd be best just to show you the circuit schematic later. But here's right now my across my base. This is just the AC side of things. If we scale it out here, you might be able to see some sinusoidal. Yeah, and you can see that the uh, they're out of phase, and you can see it riding, which is pretty pretty neato. Like I talked about, riding that the transistor, which allows it, like I said, to fire at much lower. And I'll show you the transistor. The transistor's complementary pair, because they are awesome transistors. But um, uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? I couldn't find it. I was looking for a certain type of shot keys, and I couldn't find them anywhere, and I don't have time to order them. So that's going to be out. Uh, so it won't be as efficient as I would like it, but uh, I have lots of range to play with, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And not to mention, uh, um, yeah, not, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But uh, l let me go across the charging capacitors because I'm not using charging batteries but charging capacitors and let's switch this to DC so we can see the spikes and as you can see let's see we're on 5 volt why don't we switch it so we can see it here 10 volts so 22, 23 volts with some large spikes involved let's change the triggering so hopefully we can get it to sit still Ay. We'll scale in here real quick. Look at some of the in-depth views, the actual instances. There we go. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much all I got going. That's all I got to show. I guess I'll do this real quick too, because it'll be fun. Um, righty tidy, lefty Lucy. So open her up. I do really like these trimmer pots, though. They're so so much precision so precise and that is that it's very nice and those that rhymed it was not intentional so I apologize to those who dislike poetry let's see and I can get this to run that's why I say these transistors are just beautiful but I, I get this to run at about uh, before I limited it because I didn't want <laughs> I don't want to blow the transistors uh, about 500, 550 milliamps, so about half an amp. I really didn't want to, uh, really don't want to blow it. So, there we go, She's taking off. There's vibration happening all over the table. Oh God, almost 600. So, Pulse motor build off. It's on. It's fun stuff, man. I'm learning so much and and excited to see 
uh, other people's builds and just uh you know creativity is just it's the essence of life really i think i don't know i'm kind of a out there hippie-ish type of dude i guess but fun stuff so i hope everybody is enjoying the time and uh and continue sharing and uh, much love to you all peace out